Hello friends, in this video we will see Angular 2 directives. We will cover the basic of directives and we will also see what are different type of directives. Angular 2 directive allows you to add custom behavior to elements and components. Rather than creating a hierarchy of components to try to extend behavior, Angular 2 directive enable you to compose behavior on your component. This includes adding event lister that hooks into services, manipulating templates and adding more configurations to basic element. There are three types of directives in Angular 2. First one is component. It comes with a template. Structural directive. Change the dome layout by adding and removing dome elements. Attribute directive. Change the appearance or behavior of an element, component or another directive. I will see each of these directive one by one. So the first type of directive is component. Now components are the most common of three directives. The component defines the template through template or template URL property and selector property is used to name the directive. Whenever you use the directive name in the HTML, the component's template is rendered. Now we have attached a simple example where we have created a simple component. We have named this component as main component and it has a decorator which specifies the template URL property and selector property. Selector property is used as a directive name and template URL property links this component to a HTML file which contains HTML and this HTML will be rendered when selector property is referred somewhere in the HTML. Now let's see this component through application. Now this is the main component class and it is in the file main.component.ts. This class is exportable so that any other class or component can import it and this class has a decorator which identify this main component class as component and we have used component decorator this decorator we have in this decorator we have specified two properties selector property which is used as a directive name and template url property which is linked to a html file which contains the html of this component now whenever this my app selector is used in the HTML, the HTML present in this HTML file will be rendered as a component template. So this is the simple component and a type of directive. Now let's go to this main.component.html file where we have defined our HTML for this component. So this HTML file contains a header element and an unordered list of type of directives. So if we go to the UI, so it looks like this. So this is how the HTML of this template is being shown on the UI. Now as this is the main component, it is being bootstrapped by our main module. We have not used this selector to render the HTML, but main module is directly bootstrapping this component. But in future, if you are going to use this main component in other module or component, then you have to use this selector directive name that is my app. So this is about our first directive type that is component. Now let's move to the next type. So the next type is structural directive. A structural directive is responsible for HTML layout. They shape or reshape the dome's structure by adding or removing or manipulating HTML elements. ng4 and ngif are the commonly used structural directives. So ng4 is basically adding the elements to the HTML or dome that is it iterates over the collection and renders the elements based on the data in that collection and ngif is used to toggle the visibility of a particular element we'll see example for both of these structural directives the structural directive is applied to the host element the directive then does what it what is supposed to do with the host element and its descendants structural directive is easy to recognize the asterisk sign precedes the directive attribute name. Now we have attached a simple example where we are using ng4 to iterate over a collection and render the unordered list of players. And then we are using ng if to toggle this unordered list based on the input given from the checkbox. So we'll see this example. Now let's go to the application to implement this example. Now before going to implement this example, let's see what we have done in our main component. So this main component has a collection or you can say array 
of type player class or player component now if you go to this player.ts it's a simple class having properties id name club id and club name so basically we have used strongly typing behavior of typescript in this case we'll see more about strongly typing behavior of typescript in our future videos so we have created a collection now we are going to iterate over this collection using ng4 so let's do that so i have to go to my main.component.html and i will create a, an ordered list inside this an ordered list element i'll define li element and this li element i'm going to use ng4 so i have to precede the ng4 directive attribute with a asterisk sign then i have to type ng4 i have to use let keyword to iterate over the collection and then i have to give a object name object name is player of my collection that is players and then i am going to use interpolation and then i will use object dot name property of this object to render the players now let's go to the ui it will take them it take, take some time to refresh so you can see an unordered list being rendered on the ui now what we are going to do is we are going to toggle the visibility of this unordered list using ng if structural directive so for that we want a checkbox which is going to provide input to the ng if directive so let's create that so i'm going to create a checkbox using input type checkbox and in order to use the checkbox input we have to define ng model so basically it will create a two way binding scenario where the property name can be used to use the value of this checkbox so let's do that so in order to use ng ng model we have to first enclose it in our square brackets and then round brackets and then we have to define ng model and then we have to specify the property name so that property name is show players so we will see in our future video why we have enclosed this ng model first in round brackets and then in square brackets it has a meaning and we will see that in data binding video in the future video now we are ready to use this show players property now i'm going to specify ng if structural directive at an ordered list level so i have to specify star ng if and then just have to specify this property okay and let me add a label to this saying click to view and let's go to our view it will take take to take some time to refresh okay now you can see click to view label and a checkbox now when i click this checkbox a list is appeared and when i uncheck it the list disappears so this is how you can use ng if to control the visibility of a particular element so this is about structural directives and let's move to the last type of directive that is attribute directive the attribute directive changes the behavior or appearance of a dom element these directives look like regular html attribute in templates the ng model directive which is used for two way binding is an example of an attribute directive just we now we have used ng model so let's see one more example of attribute directive now in this case i'm going to have a text box and i'm going to name or you can say i'm going to add one ng model property to this and i'm going to name it name it as uh name okay and whatever i type in this text box that will be tracked in this name property now i'm going to display this name property just next to this text box using interpolation 
so this will demonstrate how two bay bindings two bay binding work and i'm going to give it a label enter name okay now let's go to our ui okay now when i enter something here you can see it is getting updated next to a label next to the text box so basically this is how ng model works and this is a type of attribute directive now we can create our own attribute directive so what is the procedure to do that an attribute directive minimally requires building a controller class annotate with add directive which specifies the selector that identifies the attribute the controller class implements the desired directive behavior so the creating the attribute directive is not in scope of this video we will do that in future but we understand that attribute directive is basically to add some behavior to the element so these are the three types of directives that is component structural and directive and this way we have covered the basic of directives as we move forward for further in this playlist we'll see more about directives i hope you like this video thank you friends